Welcome back to a new edition of NC Sports Weekly News, the only all water sports central. In the lineup, Menard, the writer, Alhaidus, and the rocker Floriancic rev it up in Yuzu for the UIM Aquabike China GP. They came, they saw, and they won. Adam Minopio and the Black Match team conquer the first Bermuda Gold Cup in the only World Match Race Tour Regatta of the year. Big swells are made for big action at the U.S. Open of Stand-Up Paddling in Huntington Beach, California. In the briefs, Shy wins a hamper competition at the PWA Silta Grand Slam. But glorious weather and lots of fun save the windsurfing classic. For the T2 for the sale of a lifetime. Ben Ainsley and the team at Bar launch their second test boat, setting their course for Bermuda and the 35th America's Cup. Sather and Serra Soles nail the 2015 Extreme Kayaking World Championship in Austria. NC Sports plunge into the action. Yuzu took center stage once again over the weekend for the UIM Aquabike World Championship. The third and penultimate stop of the 2015 season is held on the currents of the sidewinding River Liu that delivered rain, a rough course, and a top challenge for the world's very best pro men and women riders. I'm really happy to win for the second time in China. My mechanical make very good work on my engine. So now I can be fight with the in for the top of the the championships. So I'm really happy for that, and I say thank you to you for. Repeating last year's feat, Francis Jennifer Menard won both heats one and two for a superb 50-point win. It takes a big leap to second place on the world of rankings. Beatrice Coutinhal from Portugal and Sweden's new wonder girl, Emma Nelly Orthendahl, also closed both heats, respectively second and third. In an explosive season, the 17-year-old Orthendahl is now the world's number one. Following the first uh, ski GP1 success at the Italian GP last May, Austria's new prodigy Kevin Reiter also nailed his first back-to-back -back victory right here on the Lille. Now leads the rank. Spain's Nacho Armillas and Mikael Porre of France have completed this uh, China GP podium, but the major upset in ski GP1 was at the expense of Jean Porre. Black flagged and uh, disqualified for cutting a boy, the Frenchman finished the seventh and slashed his 2015 title bid. Um, it was a tough course and the uh, wind picked up a little bit, so it was a challenging eight, 18 minutes race, um, as well as I got sick the couple of, last couple of days, so I wasn't top fit and it really wore on me. China brought good fortune to Qatar with two riders on the podium in the powerful Bao GP division. Mohamed al Haydus took the early lead to keep it for all 16 laps. On his tail, Francis' fierce Jean-Baptiste Botti was a winner at Heat 1, but was betrayed by his engine on lap 6 of Heat 2. Sweden's Lars Ackerblom wedged into second with third going to Tyre Adarwish. In freestyle, after two defeats at the hands of brother Naka, multiple world champ Rocco Florian Cesha was back on top of the podium. In a season that could even deliver a tie break for the title among the super talented Croatian brothers. Italy's Roberto Maraini closed in third. Just a fantastic moment for me and the guys. Um, we've been here seven times and uh, never won it. Two seconds and a whole lot of thirds and fifths, and uh, so we're just super stoked to finally be able to win the uh, Argo Group Gold Cup 
and potentially the last time it's run in the IAD. So it's um, it's a huge result for me and the guys, and uh, we're just so so stoked. Marking a big return to the World Match Race Tour, Kiwi helmsman Adam Minoprio and his Black Match team held back Keith Swinson's Aussies on Black Swan Racing in a heated 3-2 final at the Argo Group Gold Cup in Bermuda. The 2009 Match Racing World Champ faced off with the top contenders on the tour for a 5-2 in the round robin qualifiers. Minoprio then sealed a 3-2 in the quarterfinals against his compatriots on Waka Racing led by Phil Robertson. Identical score in the semis, with Black Match taking out Taylor Canfield's Americans on U.S. Team 1. A must have for any top sailing pro, the Gold Cup at this 67th edition was especially packed, with the 16 teams and the best crews on the water. With Bermuda now also taking on the America's Cup, even Dean Barker and his brand new team Softbank Japan got off their foiling catamarans and joined in with the usual tour suspects for the match racing weekend. The World Match Race Tour is coming to a close with its last stop in January 2016 for the Monsoon Cup in Malaysia. And it's a three-way finish for the world title with Hansen, William and Canfield all within a five-point spread on the overall leaderboard. Big swells made for big action at the U.S. Open of Stand-Up Paddling in Huntington Beach, California. In the surfing rising Tahitian ripper Poinaki Rioja took uh, the event win, followed by Brazilian Caio Vaz and Sean Pointer of the USA. American superstar Izzy Gomez uh, took uh, the crown on the ladies' side, followed by Hawaiian Mariko Strickland Bloom and Candice Appleby, also from the USA. Vaz and Gomez uh, took home their respective uh, World Championship surfing titles after dominating the rankings throughout the season. On the men's side, uh, the semifinals were crucial as Hawaii's uh, Zane Schweitzer needed a heat win uh, to force a final versus Vaz. But Schweitzer came up short and Vaz uh, ripped his way to a well-deserved uh, first world title. Gomez is a huge lead going into the U.S. Open had already secured her to the ladies' world crown, so it was a showdown for the event title with Strickland Lou. 15-year-old Izzy was relentless, awing the Surf City crowd with some of her best rides of the season. The Sup Racers also brought the heat to Tecali for the long distance and sprint competitions. The Hawaiians dominated on the men's side as Kai Lenny was crowned the champ, followed by Mo Freitas and Kasper Steinfeld of Denmark. The American duo Candice Appleby and Fiona Wild were the fastest ladies on the water, followed by Australian Sharika Westrock in third. Lenny's dominance in both the sprint and distance races shoots him to first place on the world ranking, going into the dramatic finale at the Sup Racing World Series in Oahu. Appleby has less to worry about as the third uh, bullet victory of the year here in Huntington has secured her the 2015 world title. Bringing together freestylers, slalom racers, and wave riders each and every year, the PWA Silta World Cup is not just a key championship stopover but rather a return to the very roots of the first the windsurfing boom back in the 1970s. So winning here always carries a special added value. 2015 was no exception, the only thing missing was the wind. But with plenty of fans on the beachfront, and thanks to spectacular side events on the water, this was still one glorious October week on the North Sea coast. Among uh, top results, uh, unfortunately based on a few completed events, Belgian Dieter van der Eiken uh, nailed his first uh, PWA freestyle crown, while the Aruban squad filled the rest of the podium, respectively with Kiri Thode and Amado Viesvi. Matteo Iacchino from Italy picked up his uh, second win of the season in slalom racing here in Germany, ahead of a Frenchman Cédric Borde and Antoine Albo. Iacchino now takes the lead in the rankings with just one event to go in the season. In spite of the bad luck with the wind, the PWA kept the action coming with a spectacular day and nighttime tow in freestyle, 
Zappa races, and plenty more beachside fun. Meet a T2. Ben Ainsley is a newly launched a fighter jet on water that is currently serving as the test boat for the British Challenge to the 35th America's Cup. Described as the fruit of the most advanced uh, national maritime design and technology, this foiling catamaran, armed with wing sail, is one step further in the development of the final yacht that will race in Bermuda at the Louis Vuitton in 2017. The latest amazing onboard footage with the team has just come in from Portsmouth, with no skirts or makeup but to cover up any secret. No doubt it's a purebred to speed machine. For the layman, it's just another spectacular high performance sailing contraption. Instead, for the experts, the analysts, and of course the AC informers, it could be a first map of potential clues to find out what BAR chief tech officer Andy Clofton, a two times America's Cup winner, may have up his sleeve. More in the next NC Sports Edition and the BAR update from Ben Ainsley himself. Yeah, I tried to stay focused and uh, I knew I could do it. I had done like two good runs this morning and um, I was feeling good. Uh, and, uh, Herb uh, Soles uh, from Spain and Norway's uh, Marianne Sater uh, topped a fleet of uh, 175 athletes from 13 nations uh, to become the new 2015 Extreme uh, Kayak uh, World Champions on Austria's epic Wellerbrücke Rapids uh, last week. Banking on the experience uh, picked up in the last edition, Serra Soles not only was the fastest, but also clocked the personal best of 55-34. David Bain uh, closed in second place uh, for the UK, while Triple added as a sitline champion, uh, Sam Sutton, from New Zealand, uh, took third. In the ladies' race of this uh, pinnacle event for the discipline, Southern Norway's uh, kayaking legend preceded Britain's Jennifer Crime and Alona Buslaeva of the Ukraine. Join the current uh, sports fans on Monaco Channel. Get the latest news and insight from the wide world of water sports. Meet the heroes, watch top events, and get the analysis so you can discover what it really takes. Plunge into the action with NC Sports.